I spend a lot of time on this channel explaining narcissistic behavior and giving reasons for why narcissists act the way they do and why they treat people the way they do. But in this video, I wanna really focus on the fact that none of these reasons or explanations are excuses. There are no excuses for the way that narcissists choose to treat people. There are only explanations. And I know for me, when I was really in the thick of it, I was making all kinds of excuses for the way that narcissistic and or toxic abusive people were treating me. And I didn't even really realize that I was doing this. I didn't really see these things as excuses. So in today's video, I want to go over several specific excuses that I know I was using in the hopes of helping anyone out there that might be struggling with this see a little more clearly how there is no good reason for anyone to treat you like you don't matter. Welcome to Looking Behind the Mirror, where we explore narcissism and take our lives back as we make sense out of nonsense. As a quick disclaimer, everything I say is based on my opinions and my personal experiences. I'm not a professional, and if you're really struggling, I encourage you to seek professional help. I am providing links below for you. The first idea I want to talk about is the idea that for narcissists, it's really not fair that they have to deal with the emotional problems that they have. And I actually agree with this. Narcissists have a much more difficult time treating people with respect than your average person. And it's not fair. It's not fair that narcissists have to deal with huge emotional roadblocks um, and that they feel compelled to be in denial of reality and that they are in constant anguish and pain and anxiety and all these things. It's not fair. But that doesn't mean that they aren't accountable. And I want to compare this in order to try to clarify what I mean. I want to compare this to maybe somebody who has type 1 diabetes. If you have type 1 diabetes, that is not fair. It's not your fault. It's nothing that you asked for, but you're still accountable and responsible for managing it. You still have to take the responsibility of monitoring your diet, managing your diet in whatever way you need to, of taking your insulin and doing these things diligently. And it's not fair that other people don't have to do that. It's not fair that other people can just eat whatever they want and not have to worry about it. But that doesn't mean that you just get off the hook for it. You're accountable. You're responsible for the unique struggles that you have. And narcissists are no different. It's just that with narcissists, when narcissists refuse to take accountability for their unique struggles, it hurts other people. And because of the nature of narcissism, it's pretty rare for a narcissist to care about that until it severely starts to affect their own life. But if you are in any kind of relationship with a narcissist, it's important for you to understand that no matter how hard it is for them to act in a reasonable, respectful way, they are still accountable and responsible to do so. And there is no excuse for not doing it. It doesn't become your responsibility and accountability to just put up with their behavior because they have a special problem. Now I wanna go over several excuses that I know I made for narcissists and toxic people in my life when they were treating me badly. And I want to really dive into maybe why we might think these are excuses or maybe why we might not even really be conscious of the ways that we're making these into excuses and also why these are no excuse and why these are no reason, no good reason for somebody to treat you badly. The first reason is stress. And I know for me, before I really realized that I was with an abusive narcissistic person, I blamed the abuse and I blamed the way I was being treated on outside forces. So the person that I was with in my mind was great, was awesome, was loving and caring. And it wasn't his fault that this situation was stressing him out or he was dealing with this other thing that, you know, we just needed to get through. Of course, you know, 
he's his temper is going to be a little harder for him to control he's going to get frustrated a little quicker he's not as patient because he's so stressed out and it's not his fault this is me talking to myself it's not his fault it's this outside situation that's making him act this way and as soon as this stressful thing is taken care of dealt with he'll go back to the way he was before and everything can be normal again and and everything will be fine first of all there will always be stressful situations in life that's all life really is is a series of stressful situations so if you're with somebody that is treating you badly because they're stressed out that's never going to end if that's uh if that's a reasonable excuse to treat you badly well i guess they're going to treat you badly for the rest of their life because life is full of one stressful event after another. It's not like after this one stressful event is finally taken care of and dealt with, there's never going to be another one in the future. I kind of don't really know why that never occurred to me. I, I guess when you're being abused um, and you're in that kind of uh, traumatic situation, you're really living in the present moment. You're really just living minute to minute and you're not thinking about next year or three years from now. You're just trying to get through this situation you're in. So if anybody out there is dealing with that, hopefully that can help you kind of break that mental cycle of thinking that this one situation just needs to be dealt with and then everything will be fine. No, if somebody's using the excuse that they are stressed out or if you're using that excuse for them, well, what what excuse are you going to use next time something is stressing them out? And also, I know for me, when this person was abusing me and treating me badly because they were stressed out, that stressed me out. That caused an enormous amount of stress for me. So how come it wasn't okay for me to start treating them badly or for me to start taking that out on somebody else? And I think this is a good example of the way that some of us might take the responsibility of somebody else's behavior onto ourselves. Like it's our job to just put up with this person's horrible behavior because they're stressed out. And of course, it's also our job not to take that out on somebody else. So we're taking on our responsibilities and the responsibilities of someone else. And really, when we do that, we are neglecting the responsibility that we have to take care of ourselves. And I also just wanna point out that nobody has the right to use you as an emotional punching bag because they're stressed out. Grown up adults are responsible to control their behavior when they are stressed out or frustrated. Being stressed out and frustrated does not give anyone the right to treat somebody else poorly, ever. It's not okay even for a second. And if they do that once, they will do it again and again and again because somehow they think it's okay. Another really common excuse that we might give to abusive people is that they had a bad childhood or they had some really traumatic experience they went through or maybe they had a really bad past relationship that really hurt them and affected the way that they um, act in current relationships. And these excuses might be real reasons. Somebody with a bad childhood or really traumatic past events, those might be the, the actual real reasons that they treat you badly, but that doesn't make it okay. That's not an excuse. They are responsible to deal with their past problems and with their emotional problems without hurting other people. And if they can't do that, it's not your responsibility to let them use you as an emotional punching bag for the things that happened to them. I mean, that's probably what happened to them. They were probably someone at one point that was being the punching bag for somebody else that couldn't deal with their problems in a healthy way. And so now they're just passing that along and that's not okay. Where does that stop? Grown adults are responsible not to punish other people for what someone else did to them. And I think with narcissists, this is an especially bad problem because narcissists don't recognize your individuality or your autonomy. So if somebody hurt them, they really feel like they have the right to lash out at the rest of the world because the rest of the world is just, is just this big glob of uh, 
one big huge entity that is somehow out to get them so they don't see you as an individual person that has treated them well they just see you as a reflection of themselves and as a piece of this great big glob that they have a right to lash out at against because they've been through enough already so why should they have to be nice to you when the world has been cruel to them so if you are somebody stuck in a situation like this where you're with someone who has had some terrible things happen to them in their past and that is causing them to act inappropriately now and they are not taking accountability for that i want to first point out that somebody that treats you like garbage because of what someone else did to them doesn't appreciate you letting them do that um, especially a narcissist a narcissist does not appreciate anyone for anything but especially not somebody that is allowing them or enabling them to treat them like crap so they, they're not grateful to you for just putting up with their garbage they feel entitled to hurt you and when they're hurting you they're angry they're lashing out at you they're not feeling any kind of positive emotions they're, they're not thinking wow look how much this person loves me they just let me treat them like crap no they're treating you like crap because they are focusing and projecting their anger onto you and when you allow their past to be an excuse for this or when you feel guilty at the thought of leaving them or holding them accountable because of their past, because of the pain that they've experienced, I really want you to stop and think about what it is you're trying to do. Are you trying to help them? Because this doesn't help them. When you allow someone to treat you badly because you feel bad about what they've been through, you are enabling them to continue along in a self-destructive pattern of behavior. So you are enabling them to continue avoiding accountability uh, for their own problems. You are enabling them to avoid processing their emotional problems. So you're actually, in a way, harming them by enabling them to continue acting this way and continue denying their reality. So you are not helping them. They do not appreciate what you're doing. And you're, of course, harming yourself by doing this. And I don't want to beat up on anyone out there that's that's doing this to themselves because I did this. So I understand the, the trap that you can fall into when you're emotionally vulnerable and when you've really been trained and conditioned to feel like you're responsible to take care of everybody and that other people's emotional problems are now your problem as well. So I don't want anyone to feel bad if they're enabling somebody's bad behavior, but I just would like to help anyone out there see that you're not helping anyone by allowing them to take out their trauma on you. And you're again, neglecting your own responsibility of taking care of yourself. Okay, here's another excuse that I think is a lot more tricky to see, at least it was for me. This was something that um, actually, I think I still struggle with this. And that is the idea that the narcissist quote has a point. Um, if the narcissist is yelling and screaming at you or if they're carrying out a smear campaign or if they're giving you the silent treatment or whatever abusive uh, behavior they're directing at you, they're not completely out of line because you did do some awful thing. You know, you did ignore them when they were talking to you or, or um, maybe you really did do something awful. You know, I mean, we're all human. We make mistakes, right? And I think it's easy for a lot of us to allow the narcissist to to tell us that we deserve to be treated badly because of something bad, quote, bad that we've done or, or something that we feel ashamed of. So let me just say that no matter who you are, no matter who you are watching this video right now, I'm sure that you have done things in your past that hurt other people. You have done things that you probably shouldn't have done. And I don't care what those things are. No one, no one has a right to treat you like garbage or to lash out at you because of the things that you've done, no matter, no matter how serious they are. People have a right 
to cut off their relationships with you if they want to, but they don't have a right to abuse you. They don't have a right to conduct smear campaigns and give you the silent treatment and yell at you and insult you. Nobody has the right to do that. And narcissists will find whatever thing you've done, and I know because you're human listening to this video, that you have done things that you regret, that you have made mistakes and that you've hurt people. And a narcissist will take whatever that is and they will punish you for it. They will use that as an excuse to hurt you, to harm you, to lash out at you, to criticize you, to shame you. And it's so easy to fall into the trap of thinking, well, I did do this awful thing. Well, maybe I deserve to be treated this way because I shouldn't have done X, Y, or Z. But if you use this reasoning to excuse somebody's choice to abuse you, then no human being on the planet should be walking around not being abused by somebody, right? This is why in most countries, you can't just lash out at someone and attack them, assault them or whatever, and then use the defense that they did something really rotten to you. You know, last month they slashed your tires or last month they cheated on you. It doesn't work that way you are responsible and accountable for your behavior and the narcissist is accountable and responsible for the way they treat you no matter what excuses they use to justify their behavior no one has a right to treat you like garbage ever no matter what you've done and one more excuse i want to talk about is the idea that that's just the way they are you know, when you're with somebody who's always yelling at you or just sits and sulks or makes life really difficult for no reason, well, that's just their personality. That's, that's just the way they are. And you know, you can choose to accept somebody the way they are if you want to, but that doesn't make their behavior acceptable. And it doesn't make them not accountable for their choices to be abusive, toxic, and cruel. It's like, if you get pulled over for speeding, you can't use the defense of like, you know, I just I just really hate driving slow. It's just my personality. I just really can't stand it and I just have to drive fast. It doesn't work because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what your personality or your preferences are. You are responsible and accountable to behave in a certain way. When we use the excuse of, you know, that's just someone's personality, that's just the way they are, this might be acceptable if we're talking about somebody who doesn't like to talk on the phone or somebody that doesn't really like going out or doesn't really like to travel or maybe somebody who doesn't want to try new things, just eats the same thing every day and doesn't want to try new restaurants or doesn't want to listen to new music or whatever. Like personal preferences that might be a little annoying to you, that's somebody just being themselves, right? But somebody just being themselves isn't somebody lashing out at you, using you as an emotional punching bag, losing their temper and harming you, emotionally hurting you. That's not somebody just being who they are. That's somebody who's not taking accountability for their own behavior, behavior that they are responsible to take accountability for. And it's not okay. So like I said in the beginning of the video, I do believe that narcissists have incredible emotional struggles that cause them to want to lash out and punish other people. And I don't think that's fair. I think it's awful that narcissists struggle with the things they do. And at the same time, that's not my problem. It's not your problem. It's their problem to deal with. And I also don't want to end this video uh, mistakenly giving anybody the impression that you are now accountable to convince them to take accountability. You're accountable for holding them accountable in the way of cutting off the relationship or refusing to engage with them in certain situations or withholding privileges basically setting boundaries with somebody who is disrespecting you and using excuses in order to do that. You can't force anyone to take accountability for themselves, but you can start taking accountability for yourself and your responsibility to take care of yourself and enforce your own boundaries. You can rethink the idea that there is ever any good reason to give anyone permission to hurt you. 
I hope this helps. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and comment below any ideas you have for me for future videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you like this video and would like to see more like it in the future. Until next time, thanks. Bye.